stands for Green Resilient Agricultural Productive Ecosystem. And it's a project that has been initiated by ZIZ in 2019. And it's in... Uh, my name is Sachin. Uh, I'm um, Sachin. Thanks for organizing this event and bringing me here uh, to meet uh, uh, you all. And uh, uh, before I start, one of my uh, co-founder of the company, the company's name is Root Smooch, Private Limited, and uh, co-founder 2018. And then uh, we collaborated with the University of Agriculture Sciences, Bangalore. Um, to know what is the price, what is the quality that he has, and how much he can sell it in what market. So now he can decide himself. One crop, dig deep, which means our expertise was also in research. So we wanted to bring in deep tech algorithms and then deep science physics, foundational physics. I'll give an example of how we calculate the moisture inside the green at the farm level is choose one crop and work on the physics, deep science, where we could implement that at foundational level where farmers can use it and make some money out of it. So this is, uh, or this is actually, so you don't have to guess, this is uh, me working and uh, uh, explaining things with farmers about, uh, this is maize plantation, uh, it's around 15 days of maize plant growth. Um, so farmers is free of cost, there's no willingness to pay from farmer side, absolutely zero, uh, because they're in the social impact sector, like agriculture, water, air, all these opportunities. Next one, please. So there's some uh, yeah. cut. So these five parameters, what we have taken into consideration using the amazing technology and foundation of physics, what we have defined for the conclusion is the most expected. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm a student of agronomy and it's my concern as well. So can I explain more about how do you actually detect the fungus just through pictures and what application? Sure, sure. So basically, yeah. uh, we, uh, it's basically decoloration we detect. Uh, decoloration in the sense like, uh, the normal maize is yellow and white, right? At the end, where there is uh, where there is a growth starch. Uh, that's we tell computers by taking the pictures. Tell them like te teaching a kid, like uh, you tell the kid that don't touch that fire. Once you will tell them, and then it will register that's a fire. And next time it will not touch. We hope that it will not touch. Uh, <laughs> the computers, I mean, uh, the machine learning. Yesterday, where Mr. Shravan Shrestha who is a remote sensing and geothermal. Then we have uh, Shishan Maharjan from Muttad, Nepal. We also did have Tower Organics, uh, Pranisha Adhikari, but unfortunately she had to leave uh, midway through. So maybe we can catch her next time. So uh, I don't wanna take up the time and talk about these companies. So I'll just call Ruwaj up on stage and he can present his company's approach. Hey everyone, I'm Rivas from Chiao Bai Technologies and I'm here to talk about climate resilience, smart agriculture products in Nepal that can be used when uh, applying pesticides and safety of the farmers. The second one is our greenhouse which we develop through recycled plastic and the third one is our uh, IoT based uh, smart agricultural switch. Next. Uh, let's dive into our uh, products in detail. Our flat pack greenhouse uh, is really cheap and affordable. The, the greenhouse can be used in the city area as well. The rooftops are available. Thank you very much. Uh, you are. Uh, thank you very much for a nice presentation. I'm really interested in the soil testing kit. Like uh, in Nepali Agriculture Research Council, we are doing a lot of soil tests. And we are also trying to coordinate the data from the lab based analysis to the sensor based analysis. Right? So, have we done some, some sort, of, sort of calibration? Because we are also working with some of the companies. They are trying to uh, give some sort of recommendation to the farmers based on the soil testing sensors. Right? So, like if you have the different values, then you give the different recommendations that have a different impact in everything, like the soil health. Economics of the farmers, I believe. So, do you have any sort of sort of calibration there? 
Yeah, we are we are iterating it as far as we can. The product is uh, is ready, but it's it's not actually ready. So <laughs> it is iterated. It so is going. Uh, iteration is going on. Where do you source that sensor? Is that the sensor made in the China or Indian sensor or UP? Uh, yeah, we we import the sensors. You import the that's that's one very critical shift that we need to work mm -hmm. So if you think about the farm recommendation. The values and red from the sensor is really important. So that's my So our uh, second speaker is Mr. Subhan Kibiri, who is based in Kashmir uh, Nepal. He is the founder of PlanSat. Uh, so PlanSat is a climate uh, inserted uh, startup based in Nepal, uh, which is an ambition to safeguard farmers uh, against both agriculture and climate risk using digital technologies. Uh, PlanSat harnesses the power of Nepal Bureau of the Seas of Inefficiency को घुमाओ बाटूले तब उस satellite का मैं सीधे solution में कार्य करता हूँ and that's really amazing. Um, thank you so much for the presentation. Um, so again, because of time constraint, we're just going to officials as well. Um, no one really was talking to the logistics partners, which is so key. So that was interesting to see as well. And finally, no one was really communicating with the consumers. But in fact, consumers are the ones who possibly will also deal with the worst repercussions, which is not get milk supply. So it was really interesting. Keep thinking about this topic and more, maybe not just Himalayan, but Nepal also. Um, and saying that, I'd like to um, finally uh, lead to the closing of today's session. So first, I would like to take a moment to appreciate the collective effort and dedication that has gone into today's event from the organizers, volunteers, sponsors, and all those behind the scenes. Can I ask you all to just please stand up so we can give you all a round of applause. <laughs> that's okay, everyone could have stood up, that's all right. <laughs> um, and last but not least, uh, we have Sachinji who came all the way from Bangalore just for Woody. Uh, for today's session, and he gave us such a wonderful presentation. Uh, Sachinji, uh, if you could come up on stage, we'd like to hand over a token of appreciation to you. Uh, to hand over the token of appreciation, we will have Akash, our project manager, as well as Sahanazi, who I could not introduce earlier on. She has been our constant um, harassed companion through these past few weeks because we have talked to her incessantly about how we should proceed with today's event, but she's always done it with a smile. So, Chana, if you could come up on stage as well and hand over the token of appreciation. And last but not least, uh, I would like to uh, invite Sumanji up on stage uh, for his wonderful presentation. It was really amazing to see all the work that you're doing in the past. So, another joking presentation for you.
And with that, um, I will now like to formally close today's session. We are also serving tea and coffee outside, so I encourage you to stay back. Uh, again, continue talking to the different stakeholders, the friends, the enemies that you meet today during the workshop, continue <laughs> your discussions. And we will also be sending a feedback form to your emails. Uh, if you do have the time, we would really appreciate your feedback. And with that, thank you all so much for making it this Saturday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.